When it comes to the region of the planet with the most volcanoes in a small area, nothing compares to the numerous volcanoes within the scenic Katmai National Park and Preserve within Alaska, as it contains 13 active volcanoes. While several of these volcanoes have thick lava flows that are quite prominent, such as Novorupta and Trident, others do not as their lava flows remain buried by thick glaciers. One such remarkable volcano contains 10 separate and prominent glaciers, and its summit stands at 7,090 feet or 2,161 meters above sea level. Known as Snowy Mountain, more than 90% of this scenic volcano is covered by glaciers. Snowy Mountain last produced an eruption in 1760, forming a large lava dome. Although it has not erupted since then, Snowy Mountain is definitely still active. In 2000, a new hydrothermal feature known as the Snowy Hole appeared, which began to release volcanic gases from a fumarole at a low intensity. For context, Snowy Mountain is located on the Aleutian Peninsula, where it is 93 miles west-northwest of the city of Kodiak. Along with the other adjacent volcanoes, Snowy Mountain exists due to the offshore collision of two large tectonic plates. There, the Pacific Plate is subducting underneath the North American Plate. The melted material from this collision then migrates upwards until it erupts onto the surface, forming a chain of volcanoes. Snowy Mountain consists of three separate snow-covered peaks along a glaciated east-northeast trend. The western of the two peaks represents eroded segments of highly viscous lava flows which most likely originated from separate small volcanic cones that have been largely removed by glacial erosion. In contrast, the easternmost cone represents a large lava dome that grew out of a collapse scar. Although the exact geologic history of these vents is unclear, each peak trending to the east seems to represent progressively younger activity. Snowy Mountain began forming 200,000 years ago when a volume of magma intruded into a pre-existing high ridge. As it interacted with the glacial cover, it produced a series of explosions carving out a several hundred foot wide crater in the ground. Now coated with a layer of ash, viscous andesite lava poured into the crater. This lava eventually overtopped the crater and slowly advanced down slope to the west, traveling about two miles. Over the next several thousand years, more eruptions occurred, creating a stratocone out of overlapping layers of lava and ash. A second volcanic cone later began erupting a mile and a half to the northeast, building a secondary peak. Although these two features may have erupted intermittently for as many as 175,000 years, the total eruptive products of these cones is surprisingly small. Cone 3 only has a volume of 5 cubic kilometers, while Cone 2 has a volume of 8 cubic kilometers. For context, the nearby Mount Martin volcano has a volume of a little over 5 cubic kilometers, but all of this material was extruded in the last 6,000 years. After a long period of activity, the easternmost cone began to experience significant levels of hydrothermal alteration, causing the surface rock to turn shades of red and yellow. Then, sometime between 1500 and 600 years ago, a large volume of dacite composition magma intruded underneath this cone in what is termed a cryptodome. Uplift of the mountain soon reached a critical point, causing 450 million cubic meters of rock to collapse to the north in a massive landslide. In total, this landslide covered 8.7 square miles with a thick layer of rock, and material traveled up to 15 miles from its source. In 1760, a large lava dome extruded onto the eastern half of the newly formed collapse scar, refilling much of the crater. Although Snowy Mountain has not erupted since, it is likely to produce more small collapses in the future. As a result of this and other hazards, the U.S. Geological Survey designated Snowy Mountain as a high threat volcano. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.